business alert. Fox Business Alert. General Motors cutting hundreds of jobs. And Cheryl Cassoni from our sister network, Fox Business, here with those details. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, guys. Different story that we're hearing from GM. Of course, we heard about jobs being added in 2016. Now we're getting news of some layoffs at their Lansing, Michigan plant. What they're going to do, though, is shift their SUV production uh, down to Tennessee. Now, back in 2016, they added 800 jobs at their Spring Hill, Tennessee plant. So they've been ramping up production there, but moving it out of Michigan. Now, they're going to be making the GMC Acadia uh, SUV. In Michigan, though, they're still going to be making the Buick Enclave and the Chevy Traverse. Uh, but, you know, GM had said they were going to invest a billion dollars over the next few years into the U.S. So hopefully this is the last time we talk about uh, layoffs at a major automaker. And, Cher, I know you just bought a new SUV uh, <laughs> yeah. this morning. It's yeah. the most expensive SUV unveiled. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks. Till I roll. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just bought the most expensive SUV ever. Thank you, Mercedes. Um, this is the uh, just debuted actually at the Geneva Auto Show. It's five hundred thousand dollars. It's a bargain. It's the Maybach SUV. It's got a V12 engine. If anybody cares, um, the chairs offer um, massages as well. When you're in the car, you're getting a massage from the chair, like at the nail place, right, Heather? Yeah. It's good. <laughs> that makes it all worth five hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> totally. There's thermal cup holders. Um, it's a gas guzzler, though. Wow. Only caveat of this new Mercedes. Gas. As long as you get the massage. The <laughs> well, if you can afford that car, you can afford to buy a lot of gas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so this new hotel, we were talking about this earlier. Clayton was very excited about yep. it. The, the Beer Hotel. Oh, yeah. Opening September 2018 in Ohio. We, we're all going, for sure. Um, BrewDog, which is the Scottish brewer, actually has started a crowdfunding campaign to raise money to build, yes, the world's first beer hotel. There's going to be beer in the rooms, the jacuzzis, the showers. I mean, probably the lobby. I mean, you name it. They're going to be opening it up in um, Columbus, Ohio. They've already raised more than their goal. They wanted to raise 75 k to start it. Now they're over 100000 um, And they... They're saying this thing's going to be built. The jacuzzi. Do it. Wait, so what? yeah. Well, thanks, Cheryl. 